Hello everyone, Jens and Vars here. In this video, I'm going to go through the changes of Pum Companion latest version 2.5.5, which might be landing soon enough in the next few hours, uh, depending on the platform, of course. So um, yes, let's take a look together. And uh, it's a great moment because the app is getting big. It's getting powerful. You can do amazing things with it. The community is fantastic. So let me um, rally up again and say, hey, let's share the word about this app, particularly if you like it, um, to get it out there uh, for more players of this hobby to enjoy it. Um, so yeah, having said that, let's get a look in the app and what changed, what's new, and use that as a way to explore everything you can do in the app today. All right, so here we are. I made myself smaller. So I'm gonna get into the game. The one I'm playing right now is Band of Blades. Uh, it's based on a forged in the dark medieval fantasy um, game. And um, yes, once we get in, the first feature I want to show you is a sub feature of the Crystal Dim for those of you who are owning this Dim add on. And if not, I highly suggest it. It's a customizable Dim where you can set up your own. Um, background image and font styles and font colors and things like that to really uh, sweet the app look and feel to that scene you're playing or the game you're playing. Feature is called focus mode. Uh, whenever you press this top left button, this has been designed by our UI designer, um, uh, it's gonna animate and turn the app into a distraction free um, view where you can focus on writing, on journaling, on thinking what's happening on your game. Everything gets clear out of your view. Uh, so you can focus on typing here or even you can use the formatting tools, um, but really, really get into this mood of playing your scene uh, through and out. Um, you can get out of this mode, of course, and the app UI is gonna build up together. So super cool. I'm really looking forward to use this because I, I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, next feature is um, on the image editor. There's a bunch of new things. The first one is a very powerful one uh, for the widgets extras owners. Um, you might be familiar now with the log action. The log action is like a button that um, makes a call, like a log call, a dice roll, a random table roll, or whichever, and sends that roll to the log area. What this is new here is that um, you can now, using the number counters widget, this, this one here that has a number, uh, as a variable. So you press this bolt button here and give it a name, for example, str for strength. And now what you can do is in this log action button, refer to that. So instead of rolling 2d6, you can roll um, strength times d6 uh, by encapsulating the variable name in double double colon um, you can do this and then when you press you're gonna get in this case roll 3d6 plus 1 because it's taking the 3 from this number counter so this is for you builders out there um, that that's gonna be fantastic the next change is for the ones who play with cards so as you know, if you have the cards extra and you have, let's say, a poker card in game, uh, let me shuffle it, you can bring it with a widget for the widgets extra as a cards layout. This is not new, um, but let's say you bring a cards into your battle. You can here shuffle it and draw three cards, right? This is, this is not new. However, now, what if you click on any of the cards, you will pop it out into the canvas so you can use it or leave it there for whichever purpose you like very, very conveniently. What that means, maybe I'm going to leave that to your imagination is that, hey, dungeon builders looking at you. I think this is a, was a great idea from Seal, um, but, but I see what you're thinking. Let's move on. Uh, the next recent feature added is that now you can roll dice from table rolls. So let's say you have this table called um, fruits and I open it. Now I can put dice roll expressions here inside columns. So for example, 1d4 bananas. And, uh, when I roll fruits um, from the, the tables list, I'm going to get the number out there. So really cool stuff for builders as well. Now you can nest tables, you can put dice rolls inside, use this for um, looting or whichever purposes you can think of. Thinking and talking about 
inline expression something new and super powerful is that now let me copy this log action widget over here uh, now you can draw, uh, draw cards from any deck um, using an expression so if you say hey I draw uh, and put it in double brackets bracket brackets poker column 3 because poker is the deck that I have in game and uh, I execute this I'm gonna roll right away three cards uh, from that deck uh, that opens lots of doors as well now you can draw cards from different decks uh, you can put this on random tables so random tables could draw cards the build, building capabilities are exponentially growing with each of these things another one is that now you can uh, roll simultaneously multiple table rolls so if you hold and press the random tables like fruits and vegetables and click you're gonna get um, uh, the rolls from both tables at the same time very conveniently from the oracles panel um, so super cool new feature as well what else now down here this is I, I love this feature personally um, it's it's called tags so whenever you open a character you can now give them tags so for example this character here has the specialist tag but I can also give him the tag uh, guardian I don't know whatever uh, identifier to classify them and then from the big view I can filter this uh, using these um, these identifiers right this has been an improvement of a feature that already was there what's new about it is that now from the battle maps when you open the talks um, the tokens menu you can filter also through these identifiers and on top of that press this random button here that's going to pop up a random um, token out of those with that identifier that means you can randomize certain groups of characters um, that have a certain identifier so this is super cool for spawning at random certain enemies um, or whichever other creative uses you might find for it um, what is next and not least uh, for the new features is that let's say you have a battle right going on bunch of things here cards initiative whatever you're doing um, now there's a button here called grid view and imagine what it does it brings grids to Pwn companion so now you can uh, immediately pop out a grid um, you can also pop out it in a hex form or uh, the pointy hex and uh, if you press this button here uh, you can customize it make it smaller bigger shift it around leave it where you want it to be uh, so very conveniently you're gonna have grids in the battle maps right now so I think I'm going extremely fast take your time to process all I'm sharing um, feel free to rewind and uh, let me know in your thoughts if you're liking these features uh, subscribe comment and share my youtube channel if you're liking it so bunch of powerful things here for builders now why all of this what does this make why does this make sense of course I'm showing a battle map example but many of these uh, widgets and tools of the image editor can be used in in regular character sheets which is the other purpose that can be given to the to the to the image editor right so you can have like as I showed in the latest release certain markers to tack tackle uh, progress bars or use the widgets extra and so on so all of these features are now combined um, you can combine them as you wish so you have like the action button with the numbers counter um, pretty cool stuff so um, to take a few minutes <laughs> um, to breathe I'm gonna show up some of the improvements of the existing features um, before we move on to other things um, if I go back to this map in the image editor now there will be um, a, a chat so thank you Hawk for the idea from the discord community you can right away uh, talk on behalf of some character uh, using this shortcut over here which is also now available from the initiative tracker so if you have an initial tra initiative tracker open with a bunch of characters on it you can also use the chat bubble here um, to talk on their behalf right away as a, as a shortcut other improvements I have on the list and I won't be able to cover everything that's new so take a look at the change log um, but other improvements recently are involving um, 
the let me take a look at the list to make sure I'm not missing anything um, yeah so if you press up for example there's a, a lot of quality of life but what I like particularly is pressing up with the keyboard on the log area will edit right away the last entry of your log uh, making it quite convenient to make updates or small corrections um, other improvements around here is um, the headers formatting now can be it will be centered by default um, so if you submit a text with the hashtag symbol in front it's gonna be big and, and, and centered but also if you add an L for left next to the hashtag character uh, you can align that header to the left if you prefer so super super nice I, I wish I could have time and the attention to go through all of the improvements I wish to also uh, remind you that you can you can export your characters in PDF format right now so if you right click any character and press export PDF uh, you can export a spe specific character into PDF format uh, which is going to bring the sheets and the descriptions and its journals down into a PDF format for you to share with others. So yes, that's that's worth mentioning, I think. And uh, what can I say? There's plenty of things. I really hope you enjoy the focus mode. I think it's fantastic. Um, and um, it's part of the whole experience of making Boom Companion the right app to get going with your ideas for storytelling and RPGs. So any comments down below, please do let me know your thoughts. And um, yeah, suggest so the app, recommend it everywhere you can find. I hope you're liking it. And um, yeah, let's get to it together. This is Jensen Varas and until the next video, bye bye.